Welcome. From the land of cornfields and coal mines, it's Upchuck Chops. At the end of the last video, you saw my joy, jubilation, excitement, happiness. That uh, the old dirt dauber fired up. I had to use the spray, give it a little ether to get it going, but it's together. Or, it, excuse me, it is running. It ran for a few seconds, I guess. It's progress. I just noticed now that my tank is not quite correctly mounted because this bolt up here is touching it and I looked deep in there and felt with my finger and it's not sitting where it's supposed to be. I'm going to fix that real quick. I've got a sprocket cover to put on. I think I have bolts for it from my uh, uh, Yamaha spec bolt kit. And then I want to start work on the front end. At least then I can roll this thing around. And maybe not having it wobble so bad on the jack with my tree stump tire chalk. So we'll start there. There's nothing quite as enjoyable as getting to do something twice. But uh, at least it's in like this is real work. I really need a flashlight for out here. I guess I'll have to use my phone. Still a little off on the other side. Almost there. Not almost there. I'll we'll have to wrestle this a minute. This looks like it should just slide in and up a little and drop. But I'm not having any luck with it doing that. I tuck some wires and cables in a little tighter and uh, maybe that'll do the trick. I guess I just had to want it. Use the old meat hammer. Now my fuel line's kinked. Dang it. That's okay. Once I know it's not puking rust bad, I can probably take that filter out and put a new line in. Ah, oh, yes. Getting the front end back together. I do remember I need to add oil because I wrote that in a note to myself so I wouldn't forget. I seem to have lost the nut for those. I think it's this one on those top clamps. I am not certain. I have a pile of debris that may contain the other acorn nut. This could be frustrating. I hope it's not gone forever. Look around in my mystery pile. That might be a lock washer for that too I just found.
this may take a minute I may have to do some sweeping and looking put you on hold please hold your weight is important to us well that was fast thankfully I found the other one I found another lock washer I think we're in business the book always says installation is reverse of removal that sounds nice except it's never quite that here we go here we go I looked at my manual and it discusses pumping your forks so all the oil drains into the lower leg before you replace this cap bolt. That means I have to get the front wheel on, get it down off the lift, and then add oil. I cannot forget to add oil. Maybe it'd be helpful to take this cap mold off first. No? No, it'll go. Maybe I just need a little squirt of the lubes. A bit of three in one oil ought, ought to do the trick. Just a little tickle. going a lot harder than what I expected. Alright, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Looks like it should just slide right through. It does not act like that. Do not recall them coming out with this much effort. Okay, that's quite a lot of effort. Let's try the other one, see if that makes a difference. Maybe there's something different with it. They don't catch on. It already looks like it has a little lubrication on it.
can get that far in and that's it. I'm going to stop. See if I need to loosen anything more. Not get angry. If I get mad, this might go through the side of the, the garage here. And then we'll try again. Okay, these brackets are maybe just the tiniest bit out of alignment. These bolts are loose. I'm going to give the inside of the trees a little squirt. sides and then we'll try again whole progress I think that's a ticket bub one down movement okay I can show you what I mean by just a little bit out of alignment here maybe that right there that right there it's just a little wonky, so I gotta give her a few more wiggles. Trace my steps and then uh, it's got to be here close no need to freak out uh, see I told you no need to freak out there it is this fell out the uh, fork tubes are in I got to check my book my manual make sure we're orientated the right direction at the bottom and then uh, get the uh, instrument cluster, headlight, bezel put back in, the headlight, 
Move it on. If I remember correctly, these are supposed to be flush. I am just over flush. My caps are started thread, thread threaded. It's time for a little tappy tap with the leather hammer. That is flush. Get my 13 millimeter lined up. I'll at least have them snugged in so after I go do my researches whoop, now you're in my bib pocket and it's pretty snug it's not going anywhere time for the other side started and once again thankfully I found the bolts nuts and lock washers either on the floor or hanging from the bike because this sweet little bracket and I was saved a trip to the hardware store so I gotta if you can see that right there I'm a little a little proud right there so I want to tap her down with the old leather hammer if I can get a good swing on it without breaking other stuff nope got a little, a little too snuggage on that my excitement to have these locked in is overwhelming the nice thing is the bottom of the fork legs freely rotate so when I do find out the correct way that this is supposed to sit I will uh, be able to put it where I want it oh too far story of my life not enough or way too much all right that's pretty flush back to the ratchet I don't know why I like old stuff so much maybe because it's cheaper than new stuff I'm not even certain that it's cheaper than new stuff because you have to spend money to make the old stuff work but I can spend it slowly and there's no bank that is gonna come take this motorcycle away from me because I failed to make the payment this month all right that's snug holding together not falling out I can add fork oil once I get the wheel on and I'll be set I will try to avoid being in the way and also show what's going on That's a little rough looking. When I get tires and tubes, I will clean that. The brakes seem to work pretty good. I mean, for not having, uh, I'm certain not having been touched 
for many moons. Uh, seem to be seem to stop when I'm just rolling it around anyhow. this brake cable that's going to take some remembering anyhow that's not important right this second I'll drop it in there for the time being hopefully keep it out of my way Also have to install the wheel to put fork oil in because the book Das Buch says to hold the brake and pump up and down on the front forks to let it settle in. There we go. wrong all right this cap has to come off I'm certain I put it there to so I wouldn't forget where it was okay, I got a washer on both of them my first time putting one back together I knew something wasn't feeling right, but I couldn't put my finger on what. There. I just gotta get it through. Put the other side. When I remove this, this is a 22 millimeter. I had to put a screwdriver through the axle right there to keep it from spinning. See that? I guess I'm going to have to do it again. To the screwdriver wall. Got to get a skinny one strong. I don't want to break one today, but I am only snugging it up, so. Alright, that's good enough for now. I can check the torque spec later. I just don't want it falling off. Can you see it? Can you see it? Right there? Yep. It's not always a 10 mil. It's 
bike actually has quite a few different sizes of hardware. Click, snug enough. Yep. All right, that's not going anywhere for a minute. Now I just have to remember how the brake went together. I believe I believe I slid down through here and I know that attaches to there. I might have to pull some slack from here for just a minute so I can get it slid together and then pull it back to the brake lever. This may this may make make a guy a little angry. That part seems simple enough, just slides in where uh -huh. maybe like so. I don't want to break it because then I will not have front brakes. Ah, okay, and I think I took it around, took it off, probably a lot backwards of what I should have when I was fighting it. There. That looks pretty right. Somebody who's done this more times than me, tell me if I'm doing this wrong. But I know this goes there, the wire runs through here, and this is some adjustment. I'll just have to try it out and see what happens. Wish my shirt had a pocket. I'll hang you on my t-shirt, Carl. We'll see how that works. I'll probably end up dropping my camera. Okay, I got a little slack. Maybe I'll go here first. Spin. Okay. Once again, I don't really want to brute force this thing. Just enough pressure to make it happen. That'll give me some slack. Doggone it. All right. Okay, there's that. That does the thing. Brake lever moves. While we are lifted, okay, it operates. It's sloppy, but it operates. It's adjusted much better. I start feeling tension right there. That's probably more than it's supposed to be, but uh, I can tinker with that. I adjusted this out. And there. That's that's getting better yet. 
this cable may be stretched. I may need a new one. It's hard telling. There. I can start to feel pressure there. I can feel the insides moving. All right. Sure is looking like a motorcycle.